By viewer request, we are diving into Cura 3.2.1 and doing another temperature tower. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to the show. My name is Richard Cleveland, and today what we're going to do is by a overwhelming fan um, appreciation, I guess. Um, you guys asked me when I did the temperature tower in the older version of Cura, why didn't I do it in the new version? Well, there's one easy answer to that. It's because most uh, printers these days come with an older version of Cura, and that seems to be the standard one that most printers come with. But because you guys wanted me to do the temperature tower in the latest version of Cura, that's what I'm going to do today. So what we've got to do is head over to the computer and get things started. All right, so here we are back at the computer. We've got our temperature tower loaded. We are going to show you today how to do the temperature tower using the latest version of Cura, which we talked about on Monday. We kind of did a little bit of a walkthrough. We're going to get more in depth with what this particular software can do, uh, but that's going to come up in a later episode. Right now, I want you to know how to do a temperature tower here. So first thing we know is we have to go to our material and make sure that our um, temperature, default printing temperature set to 240 because that's where we want it to start. So now in order to be able to tweak um, those Z heights like we did in the previous version of Cura, we are going to go up to extensions and down to post-processing and over to modify G-code. The reason that we're going to do this is because that is where our tweak at Z height rely or uh, reside. So we want to add a script. We're going to go right down to tweak at Z. This is an experimental. It was experimental in the previous version as well. So we're going to add that. Um, we know by this temperature tower because we've read um, the information documentation that came with it that this can be changed at every five millimeters. So what we're going to do is we want to trigger it at height. We want to make sure that our tweak height is, in this case, 5 millimeters. Um, we're going to keep the value. You can also do single layer. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. I'm sure it's there for a reason. And uh, we're going to leave the number of layers uh, at 1 because we're tweaking at a certain uh, millimeter height as opposed to a layer height. So we're going to tweak our extruder one temperature we want to make sure that that's checked and in this case we are going to change it to 235 so when it reaches that five millimeter height it's going to change the temperature to 235 now in order to to get more um, of these tweak at zeros and change those temperatures again we have to add another one and in this case we are going to tweak at 10 millimeters and we're going to do our extruder and we're going to change that now to 230. So we've changed that and we're going to keep doing this until we've got the complete temperature tower done. And the next one is 225. Now, what didn't I do here? We know that this should be 15 now, not uh, 5. So we're going to go to make sure that that is at 15. And a good idea is to write this down as you're going through it. So we are going to change now to millimeter height of 20. We are going to get that temperature set. And if we remember last time, it was 225. So this should be 220, if I'm not mistaken. Not 225, 220. There we go. Because if we go back to this one, we know that that's 225. We know that that's 230, and we know that that's 235. So let's add in another script. We're just going to keep going here. This is just going to take us a couple of minutes. Uh, we are going to now go to uh, height. What was our last height that we went to? 20. So this is going to be 25. And we're going to extruder temperature is going to be 215 in this case because we know the last one we did was 220, so this will be 215, and we'll add another tweak. 
and we'll just keep tweaking this till we're done. And that's all there is to it. Once you've got this all done, and if you forget, you can always just click on the one above it so you know that we've got to go up to 230 or to 35 here. And we know that the temperature is going to drop to, what did we do last time? We did 210, so this is going to be 205. And we just keep going. This next one will be at... 40 millimeters I can highlight that and this is going to be 200 now and if you're not sure again go back and check so that was 205 this is 200 and we go on to the next one at uh, 195 and just double check so we got 45 millimeters is where it's going to change again and this is going to be 195. And the last one we're going to put in here is at 50 millimeters. Again, we're going to do this. And we're just going to leave this one at 190 because we know that that's our last one. Now, if we count, we should be able to... Um, count this the same exact number of processes so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten scripts we're going to leave this the way it is we're going to close this up now we can save this to our file it's going to take 52 minutes to do um, and when it's done we'll see exactly what that temperature tower looks like so i'll see you guys back at the uh, other station we'll take a look at this temperature tower so as you can see it's not that hard we can uh, make our temperature towers in cura just very similar to the ways we made them in the old version we still get a great result and the temperature tower itself it was around here on my desk there it is right there uh, turned out really really good we did it in this blue pla from uh, spool 3d and i'm going to tell you just by looking at it my best temperature is about 205. So with this, with the blue PLA, this is the uh, light blue PLA from uh, spool3d.ca. Hey, listen, while we're talking about them, uh, make sure that you go and check out spool3d.ca because they help us each and every week by giving us this wonderful space. As you guys already know, if you're new here, you got to check them out. Because if you're going to print it, you want to print it right. With spool3d.ca, they've got everything from printers, filaments, and all the accessory parts that you could possibly think of. So check them out today at spool3d.ca. I want to thank all of my Patreons, by the way. You guys are doing a fantastic job to help keep this show going. And uh, also, you guys who are on Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to contribute to the show in any way or help us along the way, you can certainly check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the first layer. Or if you just feel like buying me a coffee today, go over to buymeacoffee.com slash the first layer. And that's where you can do that. So with that being said, guys, it was a pretty short show today and pretty easy to take care of doing that temperature tower in the latest version of Cura. So until I see you guys again next week, remember, or actually until I see you again on Friday, remember you guys that the first layer is always the foundation for a good print. So make sure you get it right. Till next time, have a great day.